This is John Black, Super Chemist. This is not an instructional video. It is just a vlog showing a video account of some chemistry experiments I have done or am learning about. I do not go over all safety concerns, so if you repeat anything in the video, you do it at your own risk. All right, so I got my stuff right here. I'm going to try and pour some of it into here. And then I'll put the rest in here. I'm going to put this back in the freezer and this is some of my true product and we're going to get some more out of there though. Now keep in mind this is just the first batch. There's a whole bunch more stuff inside that ethanol. Uh, but this first batch right here without the plastic bag, you know, and the, the glass and all that, just the methylamine weighs 40 grams. So that's I, I was shooting for 34 total, uh, but keep in mind this is very wet. I mean, I put it on the frit funnel and I got the vacuum thing on it and I stirred it around and got it somewhat dry. But if I left it on there to dry it completely, all that would happen is air would get sucked through the frit funnel and go across these crystals and it would absorb all the water so I'd just be exchanging ethanol for water so I'd rather it be wet with ethanol which is no big deal than being wet with uh, water now if you want to get the ethanol off you can always put this in a flask right a round bottom flask like this but bigger you know what I mean and put a vacuum on it and put uh, you know the round bottom flask in like with some hot water and just put a vacuum on it until it takes all the ethanol off. I don't really care about them. I've already done so much, it's unreal. And now that I see that I got actually a decent yield, more than I expected. Uh, but this is only the first batch, so let's go for another batch. So I put that uh, ethanol in the freezer and nothing would precip out again. So I got it set up for distillation. See my stuff over there, it's starting to get yellow more. I'm distilling out stuff here, and when I start seeing a bunch of precip, I'll pour it back into that cup that's sitting next to there. there. And uh, then we'll get another batch, hopefully, at least as good as this last batch, because then. That would be 80 grams, and even if half of it's water, that's 40 grams. That's a 40 gram yield. That's what I, I would consider that really good. Just a very little bit of precip came out, and I shut down the distillation. Let's see, about maybe 
60 mils out of there that I 60 mils I distilled out. And remember, we put in there originally 160 mils. So there's probably about 100 mils in there still. Um, but I didn't want too much precip because I don't want to get get getting it stuck in there. You know what I mean? I preheated that vessel I'm going to put it in. And when this gets down maybe to 80 degrees Celsius before everything starts precipping out big time, I can throw it into that dish. Throw it into the freezer and get a second batch of crystals. But I put it in here and I put it in the freezer and nothing precipped out. There was only 75 milliliters. So I put it in this and put it back on a reflux. It's a 100 milliliter round bottom flask. And I distilled off another, say, whatever that is. And then I put it into the uh, freezer, and you can see it all solidified. Now you can see this is an totally white like the other stuff is. It's kind of got that tint to it, that yellow brown tint or whatever. Um, but you can see it's filled up to here. It's not like just on the surface. You can see there's a bit, good bit in there. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this for the next time I make, you know, some, some methylamine, right? And I can toss this in with it. Um, but you can see that that's it's probably equal to the amount of water that is in the in the other crystals. So this weighed 40 grams, but it was wet. If we don't count the water, if we count the water here, but we don't count these this uh, stuff in this round bottom glass, they kind of cancel each other out. You see what I'm saying? So, I'm going to say that my yield was 40 grams, which is a lot better than what I, th I thought, you know, I was shooting for 34. So, between this 40 grams here and wherever this weighs, there's at least 40 grams worth of stuff in here, even if you take the liquid out, you know what I mean? Look how white this is, though, compared to that. And what I might also do is see if this can melt down a little bit. And maybe when I filter it, you know what I'm saying? I can filter it and it'll be nice and white. If, it, if I do that, I'll put it with these crystals here. I don't know yet, though. But anyways, I've been doing this for a week now, making this stinking stuff here. Um, it should have taken a day. Um, so I think I'm, I'm done. <laughs> I'm proud of my yield. Uh, and so, you know, especially with all my failures that have been happening, uh, so I'm, I'm happy with this. Now, I want you to keep in mind, I'm going to redo this experiment, uh, because this was my first attempt. I've never done this before. Um, there's no instructions. You know, most of my experiments, I have no instructions. I just give it my guess. I mean, don't get me wrong. Once in a while, I will just copy a recipe, but that's very rare for me. Uh... I don't learn much doing that, you know what I mean? Uh, if you just read the recipe for a cake and make it, sure you can make that cake, but it doesn't really teach you much. Uh, but anyways, my point is, is I want to condense this into one video, because uh, this was so long. And a lot of things in this video, keep in mind, were incorrect, uh, because I, I had to overcompensate to see where the product was going. Until I know where the product is, I don't know how to, how to extract it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, for example, like the chloroform, I definitely used too much chloroform. There wasn't enough, uh, you know, there wasn't enough uh, dimethylamine to be using that much chloroform. But I did it because I wanted to make sure that I got all the dimethylamine out to see how much exactly I was making. You know what I'm saying? So there's a lot of that kind of thing going on in this uh, five video series where I'm overdoing stuff. Because I want to make sure that I get all of it out so I can see exactly how much is there so I know next time how much to use. Now I know next time don't use that much chloroform because there's not that much dimethylamine in there. You know what I mean? 
so this is this series of videos is more like a learning uh, thing than an instructional thing so like I said I'm gonna redo this video first I'm gonna try the experiment off camera so I don't have the camera to deal with and see what my yield is see if it's any better uh, and then I will redo the experiment a third time and I will videotape it so that it's all condensed there'll be no extra information just be information on how to make it that's it no extra information uh, if you want extra information you go to this series of videos and you watch it you know what I mean uh, that way there won't be any nonsense of in the in the video that I'm going to make and it'll just be condensed down into one video it'll be a lot easier to follow okay now it was a long video so I'm going to try to simplify what I did I dissolved the hexamine in water I filtered out the wax right the impurities from the hexamine tablets I added uh, hydrochloric acid and then I just distilled the pot I, not the still head, but the p actual reaction part at 100 C until I couldn't do that anymore. Then I distilled with the pot at 104 C and every 10 or 15 minutes, I just for a second or two, I'd put a vacuum on there to get rid of the CO2. Then when nothing else could come over at that temperature, I started to distill under a vacuum the whole time, but keeping the pot under 100 C. Okay, under 100 C. Now I want you to see how the rest of this is pretty much I'm doing the same thing. I just still under, like I said, under 100 C, under a vacuum. And I just still, and I'm just guessing about how much. But I, I just still say a quarter of the pot. I chill, filter out the ammonium chloride. And again, see how this just keeps repeating. Just still under vacuum, but keep under 100 degrees. I do another quarter of the pot to still out. I chill, filter out the ammonium chloride. See how I do it twice. But then I keep distilling under a vacuum. That's all I'm doing the whole time, basically. And I, you know, distill out another quarter of the pot. And this third time, I get methylamine. Distill under a vacuum again, under 100 C. And a second time, I get methylamine. Two times, I get ammonium chloride. Two times, I get methylamine. But I'm still distilling under a vacuum, but keeping the pot under 100 C. Uh, but this time, okay, after two two times I get the ammonium chloride, two times I get the methylamine. This last time I just distill everything. I distill till the pot is dry and there's just crystals in there. And I take all my crystals, I dry them under a vacuum. Then I wash the crystals with chloroform to remove the dimethylamine hydrochloride, filter it, dissolve the crystals in ethanol to dissolve the product and leave the ammonium chloride a solid. Then I filter out the ammonium chloride crystals and recrystallize my product. But you notice the whole time, once I mix my chemicals, I'm basically just distilling. I just distill a little bit to get the to get the reaction going, then to get the ammonium chloride out, then to get the methylamine chloride out, then to dry the whole thing, and then I just wash it, wash it with chloroform, and I dissolve it in ethanol, and now I can recrystallize my product, pure, or pretty much pure. Um, so it's not really, I know it seemed like it was hard to follow in the video, But there it is, all in one, one swoop here, pretty much. Anyways, you have a great day, and always remember, science is great.